G'day guys, a student has asked me to go through this uh, calculus question here where we're given a graph and a function and we have to show that the derivative of this function here is equal to this expression down here. Now the graph is a little bit unnecessary in this part of the question but it's just like it, look, it looks good being there. So by the looks of this derivative here we're going to have to do some simplification after we take the derivative and if um, I'm going to go about doing this derivative using the quotient rule. So first of all what I'm going to do is for your benefit I'm going to explain the mechanics of the quotient rule. So the quotient rule is for when we have a function that is defined as the quotient of two other functions. So we have u divided by v. Now the quotient rule states that if we've got a function like that, a rational function, its derivative is going to be equal to the derivative of u times v subtract the derivative of v times u all divided by v squared. So this is the mechanics of the quotient rule and what we're going to do is we're going to use this to differentiate this function here. All right. So let's start. Our u, we have 3x minus 9. So let's start by going, well, the derivative of this is going to be equal to the derivative of the top, which is simply 3, times the bottom, there we go, subtract the derivative of the the denominator. Now I'm assuming that you guys know how to use the, do these derivatives, which is equal to 2x minus 1 multiplied by the top, 3x minus 9, all divided by the bottom part the denominator squared. So that's, if we weren't asked to simplify a derivative in an exam, this is where we could leave it. Now because we've been asked to show that this is this, essentially the same thing as this, we're going to have to simplify. So if we look at the denominator, it's exactly the same as what they've given us in this expression here. So in any case, our denominator is good to go. We don't need to do anything with the denominator. The numerator, however, needs to be simplified. So the way I'm going to go about this is I'm going to multiply out all of the brackets. So I've got 3 times the x squared minus x minus 2. So that's going to give me 3x squared minus 3x minus 6. And then we're left with minus, now I'll put this in a bracket just for my own benefit. We're going to have 2x times 3x is 6x squared. And then we have 1, negative 1 times 3x is negative 3x. 2 times negative 9 is negative 18. So we have minus... 21x, and then we have negative 1 times 9, negative 9 is positive 9. Great, and that's all divided by the denominator. x squared minus x minus 2, all squared. Now, what we're going to do in the numerator is we're going to combine our like terms. So we've got 3x squared minus 6x squared is negative 3x squared. Then we've got negative 3 minus minus 21. So that's going to be negative 3x plus 21x. So that's going to be plus 18x. Then we have negative 6 minus 9 is negative 15.
all divided by x squared minus x minus 2, all squared. Now with the top here, if we're going to make it look like this, I'm going to take out this negative 3 so we can look at the um, function we're trying to end up with and use that as almost inspiration for where we're going to go next. We have this negative 3 out the front, so I'm going to factorize the numerator by negative 3. And so that's going to be inside the bracket. We're going to have x squared. Negative 3 times negative 6 is positive 18x. And negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. And that's all divided by x squared minus x minus 2, all squared. Now, from here, I'm going to just do a monic quadratic factorization. So we're just going to put this into two brackets. So this is going to be negative 3 adds together to give negative 6, multiplies together to give positive 5. The only two things we can have is negative 1 and negative 5. So we have x minus 1, x minus 5, divided by x squared minus x minus 2, all squared. We look over at our um, example that they've given us, where we have to get to. We find out that ours is exactly the same, and we're good to go to, on to the next problem. So. In solving this problem here, first of all, you had to identify a method for which you're going to differentiate. Now, if you've got a rational function like this, the easiest method which is going to give you the simplest um, output is the quotient rule. Um, once we've done the quotient rule, from here all the way to the end is just simplifying the problem. So what I did is I multiplied out all the brackets. I then combined my like terms. So if I was to write down what I've done, uh, at this step, I did the brackets. Then I did like terms here. And then here, what I did is I looked at the expression that we had to end up with, and I used that as inspiration to factorize. So if I was to big like write fully down what I've done, I've got factorize using the end goal as an inspiration. So basically what I did is I took all my cues from this function here. Because once I've got this, I know that I have to factorize by negative 3. If I factorize by positive 3, I'm just going to be wasting time. And as you can see, the question isn't worth that many marks, so it's not worth you having to come back and then try and factorize it again. So guys, I hope this video helped. It's not a very hard problem once, like if you have all your factorization techniques under control and um, you've got your basic mechanical differentiation under control. It's just a matter of just staying cool in this question and not just not making silly errors. So I hope the video helped, guys. Um, if it did, give it a thumbs up. It really it'll help me out a lot. Um, also, I put out new videos all the time. Try and put them out most days. If you'd like me to help you answer a question that you're stuck on, put a comment with the question in it, and you know subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time.